Hi, today I'm going to um, go over how to program a, a MIDI controller keyboard into a synthesizer. When you uh, have a MIDI controller keyboard, there's no really brains to it other than translating a key touch to uh, a command that goes through the MIDI and goes either into your computer or to a synthesizer. So if you're using a synthesizer like Cakewalk, or I'm, I'm sorry, a computer program like Cakewalk, the, um, most of the changes that I'm going to show you how to make here can be made on that, uh, on that program because the sounds are in that program. If you want to take your keyboard and play live or, and through a synthesizer, it's hard to uh, haul your computer around, but you can take, get a synthesizer like this one. Um, and create the sounds you need and, and put it to your amplifier. Now this is an Alesis nanosynth. It's relatively old technology. It was this particular one I think says made in 1998. Um, it's basically the brains of all of the Alesis QS products. Uh, the QS61 and the QS6, 7, and 8 in point one and point two versions. And it has 640 sounds or programs in it. Um, it will allow you to, on the face of it here to change to different categories keyboards and organs and wind and such uh, uh, here's your categories and then there's 16 choices well that doesn't make 640 sounds the only thing that you can do with this synthesizer on the keyboard on the on the face is hit the general MIDI sounds uh, you don't get to get the uh, Alesis program sounds that are generally what you use on, when you use a QS keyboard. So to get to those, you have to program them through a, uh, a controller. And so I'm in looking at the documents for the QS49 and for the NanoSynth, it's, it's not intuitively obvious how you do that. So playing with it, I figured it out, so I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, it seems like all the instructions for MIDI's assume that you already know what to do, and it's not quite the case. So right now I'm on the, um, the piano sound, which isn't isn't bad. It's a it's a general MIDI sound, and uh, what I want to do is program another sound. So over here on the far left in my little control area I've got a button that says MIDI select and when that's on that means it's waiting for commands to send to the to the uh, synthesizer so and then the the first rows notes here are assigned you can reassign the channel number what the channel number allows you to do is uh, daisy chain several synthesizers together and when you choose a channel here you say I want to I set a synthesizer to be a channel 8 and I set channel 8 here and it'll send it to the channel 8 synthesizer the commands we're not going to do that uh, I'm only using one synthesizer at a time and these channels um, if you if you use them uh, one that's going to generally go to the go to your synthesizers the next sections are preset commands that you might use a lot there's um, velocity, reverb, uh, volume, and it's got the volume knob over here as well. Uh, the next set are octaves and transpose. You can transpose octave or transpose uh, uh, half steps right here without having to know which command number it is. And then there's some sections that will allow you to uh, assign a command number and then uh, uh, assign the, the level. The levels are from 1 to 127. Volume is at, at 1, very, very low. At 127 is very, very high. Uh, the uh, uh, reverb depth at 1, you can't hear any reverb. At 127, it delays a very long time. Then on the far right of the keyboard, which is where I'm going to try to put it here and leave it while we do the rest of this, um, are numbers. So you tell it what you want to code and then which, which command you want to use. You tell it what number you want to assign it to, 1 through 127. And then the last key here is enter and then there's a cancel key. Uh, so if you can imagine the 
the uh, MIDI commands are going into the synthesizer like a computer program, one after another, after another, after another. And uh, so if I hit a key, it sends an on command. If I take it off, it sends an off command. I can hit the key hard, it'll send a velocity command. If I um, take it off, it might send an, an aftertouch command. But it does it instantaneously. If, if I do this, I have sent an on command for a C, an E, and a G. To me, they all hit at the same time. To the to the MIDI synthesizer, it got three different separate on uh, on command lines and executed those. So once a command is set, it stays there until you turn it off. The um, if I set a bank, it'll stay in that bank until I change the bank. If I send a program, it'll stay in that program until I change the program. So if you think of a bank as uh, a group of sounds, and every category is included in that group, you've got, you've got pianos and chromatic and organ and so on in each bank, and the numbers sequence within those banks are the same for the program. So in uh, this case, in the organ sounds, uh, I've got uh, in all the banks, uh, program 16 through 23 are, are organ sounds. What I'm looking at here, briefly, is a list of banks and programs that I uh, downloaded from the NanoSynth reference manual, which is great that they still have those out there. This, you know, this thing's 20 years old. So. If I want to go to my favorite sound, which is a uh, the wider shade of pale sound, which is actually on here, is shade opale, and um, I see here it's in bank four. So I'm going to hit my MIDI select button that I showed you was over here on the left side before. I'm going to go to the MSB bank key, which is right there. So I've told it I'm going to tell you a bank number. I'm going to hit four and enter. The light on my MIDI select went off, you can't see it, but it went off over here telling me that that transaction is complete. I have now set a command line to the synthesizer that says we're in bank four now. The uh, Shade of Pale program, there's 127 programs in every bank, is 16. Now, since there's 127, there's three characters, so I'm going to put a 016. So I'm going to hit my MIDI select, I'm going to hit my program, I'm going to hit zero. One, six, enter. My light went over here, so it's recognized that the command has gone through. So the next sound you should hear when I press down this these keys is going to sound something like wider shade of pale. So. And sure enough, it does. I can send. Uh, I can re assign my modulation and pitch wheel through these commands. I can set the uh, chorus depth, the reverb depth. I can set the volume through these commands. Uh, so now instead of having just the face of the nano synth of about 127 sounds, I now have access to 640 sounds that the, uh, the nano synth provides me. Um, so again, the it, it's just like sending a line of code to a computer program. You tell it you want to send it. You tell it what kind of information you're going to send. You give it the numeric information and you hit enter and that does it. The only information you, you need to know in changing the, uh, the voices here is the, the bank number and the program number. There's all sorts of information out there about different, different MIDI uh, uh, commands and what their numbers are and what they mean, but these are essentially um, the ones that, if you're unless you're orchestrating a uh, uh, music for a movie or something, those are probably these are probably the only ones uh, that you need to know.